Good day, this is our latest video update on this Wednesday afternoon as we are now watching two typhoons in the western Pacific of Bulavan just upgraded to a typhoon uh, actually late last night and we continue to watch both systems as they march across the western Pacific we have the latest uh, infrared image showing you the location of Tembin near, near Taiwan and um, Bulavan over the western Pacific moving west northwestward we begin with typhoon tembin or bagyong mess it nears uh, as it could make landfall uh, tomorrow thursday it's last limited approximately 400 kilometers southeast of taipei taiwan or about 320 kilometers uh, northeast of basco batanes maximum sustainment have actually weakened decreased to 130 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 185 uh, kilometers per hour system is currently moving west northwestward at 10 kilometers per hour but should start turning more to the west uh, later tonight now you can see in this latest satellite image the system has actually improved somewhat compared to 12 hours ago when it was really looking rugged central dense overcast looking more symmetric uh, this time around with um, very good convective activity all around as well now the eye isn't visible compared to um, two days ago but the uh, eye wall continues to remain intact see this latest microwave image the eye wall is still there although partially open and eroded along the western side now the JTWC has uh, attributed the apparent weakening in the past 24-36 hours due to a couple of upper level low, uh, features inducing subsidence and also increasing wind shear along the western side of the storm now the wind shear has slightly weakened uh, which could explain the um, somewhat of an improvement in terms of the uh, structure in terms of the look of the system on satellite but still uh, the official words uh, official analysis from JMA has uh, brought down the winds to 130 uh, JTWC also has kept the has decreased the winds but uh, for them this system remains a strong category 2 uh, typhoon but and could remain that way could even be uh, stronger than 130 uh, tomorrow um, before making landfall here in Taiwan. Uh, the current warnings still have signal number one from Pagasa as uh, Tembin is still within, uh, still near Basco Batanes and the other islands uh, around it. Central Weather Bureau, on the other hand, has now issued sea and land typhoon warnings for the counties of Yilan, Hualien, and Taitung, and uh, we could actually expect landfall uh, either in Walian or Taitung tomorrow uh, midday around uh, uh, 12 or even uh, 12 p.m. to around 4 p.m. that's when we are expecting landfall in this to probably around more around uh, Taitung actually depending on the track of the system um, JMA also also issued high waves warning for the uh, islands uh, east of Taiwan the Miyakojima and Yayama islands uh, the latest infrared image uh, again showing you the big blow up of, of convection uh, right near the center although it is somewhat lopsided uh, the center is located over here and you can see some warming of cloud tops along the eastern periphery of the system nevertheless central dense overcast remain uh, remains very uh, strong symmetrical the poleward outflow has uh, weakened slightly um, again the system remains a very very strong and very uh, damaging Typhoon, it's still a big threat uh, for Taiwan. Not only the winds, but also not only the winds, but also the heavy rains that could potentially fall here in the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. And speaking of rain, we are now picking up the system from the radar here in Miyakojima Islands. You can see the eye of the system just below the radar coverage, but you can see those strong inner bands of the system, which could indicate the eye wall, and also some outer bands affecting passing through the Japanese islands bringing some uh, squally rain showers mainly light and uh, quick hitting but could drop up to 20 to 30 millimeters in a, in a matter of um, an hour or so so just be aware of that uh, the system is still far away from Taiwan but it is also being picked up by the uh, Taiwan radar and you can see the outer bands are still far from uh, the island but could start impacting uh, the eastern coast probably later tonight and conditions will continue to deteriorate um, early tomorrow morning and uh, we expect the um, worst conditions to begin by uh, Thursday midday and lasting uh, Thursday night and into Friday 
And speaking of the forecasts, you continue to uh, expect the system to to move westward and make and make landfall um, tomorrow, Thursday midday, around either in Walian or in Taitung County as a Category Two or perhaps a Category One typhoon, depending on how much interaction it gets, uh, it creates with the mountains before m actually making landfall. Uh, obviously, the system will rapidly weaken as it crosses into Kaohsiung County. Uh, by uh, Thursday evening and it could weaken to a tropical storm actually before uh, exiting um, the Taiwanese coast. Uh, you can see if you've been watching our videos in the past two to three days you probably noticed the tracks of the forecast agency south shifted southward and this is up, um, because of the approaching uh, Bolavan we've, which we've been mentioning uh, the possibility of the Fujiwara effect or binary interaction between these two systems and computer models have uh, shifted somewhat uh, their tracks and uh, more models are now expecting uh, in an interaction between these two systems and uh, which could influence Tembin to actually make a an abrupt turn make a U-turn back to the east we've been saying this possibility but uh, in the past we thought we thought this this possibility is quite low but latest data from the computer models and also from computer agencies suggest that this possible this uh, event could uh, could uh, definitely happen depending on the speed and strength of both systems and you can see in this uh, NCEP image the forecast tracks from the computer models again showing a, an abrupt and tight U-turn uh, as Bolavin approaches by um, uh, Friday into Saturday that's when the distance between the systems uh, are expected to be at their lowest right now the systems are about 1500 kilometers apart but by friday night or into saturday they could be within 1000 kilometers of each other it could definitely induce some uh, wobbles along their tracks now let's take a look at the jma five-day forecast and even them uh, are they are also expecting an abrupt uh, and even a slowdown by this weekend you can see them forecasting a very slow movement as it exits into Taiwanese coast as a tropical storm could uh, stall in this region for 48 hours and um, could eventually turn to the east depending on the influence of um, Bolavin but if it but if it happened uh, could see some uh, heavy rains across Taiwan and even into Northern Luzon now in the forecast cone of error from JMA so um, even though Tembin will make landfall in Taiwan and is forecast to weaken interests along Northern Luzon should continue to monitor the developments of Tembin uh, because it could definitely uh, pose another threat as, uh, as the Fujiwara effect um, that's, uh, if it does happen so to keep in mind but as of right now the main threat continues to uh, be for eastern Taiwan as we watch the system make landfall uh, again uh, later tomorrow Thursday we move on to the other system here in the western pacific we have Typhoon Bolivin, um still moving across the western pacific slowly it was last located approximately 1300 kilometers of Okinawa southeast of Okinawa or about um, uh, 960 kilometers uh, northwest of Guam here in the Marianas maximum sustained winds have increased to 140 kilometers per hour with gusts of up to 195 uh, kilometers per hour the Bolivan is moving west northwestward at 10 kilometers per hour and you can see this latest satellite image the uh, size of the system and also the moisture being pulled in uh, could expect expect those southwest monsoon to uh, start being enhanced by the system could start affecting the Philippines early tomorrow, uh, later tomorrow, as it is expected to enter the Philippine area of responsibility. And if it does, I guess I will give it a local name, Bagyong uh, Julian or Julian, uh, later tomorrow. Now, you can also see in this latest satellite image we have Typhoon Tembin. So, slowly, uh, these two systems are starting to uh, get near each other, and as I've mentioned earlier system could get close enough to to start some sort of a Fujiwara or binary interaction between the systems but there's something needs to be watched 
Now the infrared image showing you the um, strong convective activity within the storm center. Central dense overcast also remaining pretty good. Sa equatorial outflow remains good and the system is expected to start tapping into the uh, upper level low uh, to the north and could see an improved poleward outflow in the next few days. Uh, the eye is still not visible on both visible and uh, infrared satellite but latest microwave image shows that the eye wall is starting to uh, be formed inside or beneath that cloud canopy so you could uh, start seeing more improvements in terms of the storm structure in the next few hours but as of right now we can see the strong convection uh, blowing up um, within that storm now in terms of the forecast uh, Forecast agencies and also computer models have been pretty consistent in the past few days in terms of the forecast. Expecting a northwestward turn and could perhaps move within uh, near Okinawa and also the rest of the uh, Ryukyu Islands. Um, and by as early as Saturday evening or perhaps into Sunday, uh, the difference with agencies in the models is that the models, as you can see here, bring uh, Bolivin right smack into Okinawa so uh, computer models such as GFS, the CMC and even the Euro forecasting a very close pass into Okinawa by Sunday. Uh, the forecasting agencies on the other hand are positioned somewhat to the south of the model consensus and forecasting a track well south of Okinawa but still close enough to bring some typhoon force winds but in terms of landfall in terms of the strongest winds uh, the forecasting agencies are not expecting that as of right now. Even the JTWC is not is bringing uh, uh, Bolivin uh, to about 200 kilometers away from uh, Okinawa. So right now we don't have any T core up from Kadena except for T core four, which is uh, the usual uh, this time of the year. We expect T core three to be issued perhaps by uh, Friday or as early as tomorrow evening, depending on the forecasts from JTWC but again as of right now forecast for this system is to move northwestward perhaps intensify along the way uh, uh, JTWC is actually expecting this to become a category 3 before nearing Okinawa and by that time there could be some typhoon force winds beginning Saturday evening in, into Sunday expect winds around 100 to even 140 kilometers per hour sustained uh, uh, winds and also some heavy rains across um, Okinawa, Miyakojima, and Ishikagijima Islands, and also the threat for the southwest monsoon, as you can, as you saw earlier, the satellite image, very menacing look, uh, uh, being of the moisture being pulled by the system. So we could see the southwest monsoon enhanced, uh, for particularly for Luzon, uh, by this week, and and also as the system moves north into the East China Sea, uh, the next potential threat would be the Korean Peninsula especially along the east coast of South and North Korea. Uh, interest here should uh, continue, to especially continue to monitor the developments of the system because um, it could also pose a threat in this area and even into Shanghai and the rest of Eastern Asia. Uh, Bolivin could pose a threat into this regions uh, early next week and uh, by that time computer models are expecting this system to keep its, maintain, uh, to keep its typhoon status before making actually be before making landfall in the Korean Peninsula by the latter part of next week. So something to keep in mind definitely um, as we go um, in the next few days. That ends our video update for today. You need to check out Central Weather Bureau if you are in Taiwan. Um, if you are along the East Coast, make your preparations now. And also just keep in mind the threat of uh, landslides and heavy rains and strong winds as we go in th into Thursday and into Friday. Um, also for uh, for those of you in, J uh, in uh, Okinawa should start con closely monitoring the developments of Bolivin. Uh, can go to JMA for the latest updates there and also if you have any storm reports, pictures, images or videos, also just comments or suggestions you can email us at philippineweather at yahoo.com. Stay safe guys.